Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Jackson, and welcome back to another video. So before this video starts, I just have two quick little announcements for you guys. So the first... <laughs> Whoa. So the first announcement is me and my girlfriend, Kate, who you've seen on this channel multiple times before, have officially started our own channel together. We're super excited. There's going to be challenges, pranks, like vlogs, travel vlogs, everything. I'm so excited to do it with her. Like we've been planning this for months and we officially started it and we uploaded our first video yesterday. So if you could please go and subscribe and support that channel, it would mean the absolute world to me. We're trying to do this as much as we possibly can, trying to get at least a video up a week together. And we're just so, so excited. There's going to be so much content. So you can click the link down below to go and subscribe to that channel. Please do. It would mean the absolute world. And I just... Oh. I really hope you guys will support us on this journey. I'm just so, so excited. And the second announcement is the giveaway is still on. So if you didn't know that there's a giveaway, there is. <laughs> um, so I've teamed up with GC2B, Trans Guy Supply, and FTM Pit Stop, and we are giving away five binders, five packers, and two SDPs. So if you want to be in with a chance to win any of those items, all you got to do is check out my latest video or go to my Instagram and check out this post, and then you'll know how to enter and all the things to do. So yeah, if you want to have a chance of winning anything, just make sure you go and check out that video and that post. All shipping is covered, all charges and prices are covered, so you don't have to worry about anything like this item. Like If you win an item, it'll be sent straight to you. No fees, no nothing, so you don't have to worry about that at all. So this is a video I've never seen made before on YouTube, so I guess it's one of a kind. <laughs> So if you did not know, hello, my name is Jackson, I'm FTM transgender, which means I was born female and I identify as male, and I've been on testosterone for two and a half months now. Now, another thing you should know is that I attend an all-girl Catholic school because I was attending the school before I figured out what trans was and before I came out uh, when I was 15. So yeah, I've been going to this school since I was 12, figured out who I was when I was 15, and decided not to switch schools because it's where all my friends were, my teachers were super supportive, I had a rough time, um, about a year after I came out in school, but that has all been cleared up. I'm called Jackson in school. I'm respected in school So I decided to stay even though I got accepted into an all-boys school and um, but I had to know French and I only know German so Yeah, there was a lot of complications, but I decided to stay in school. I finish in about 10 days uh, I officially graduate from that school and then I have my exams. So yeah, I just want to talk a bit about being on T This is the longest <laughs> sentence ever, but yeah being on T in an all-girl Catholic school so like I said, I started tea about two and a half months ago and when I started tea, a couple of my teachers came to me and they were like, are you sure this is the right choice? Like we completely support you. We want to make sure that you're not going to mess up your kind of mentality right before exams. These are the biggest exams of your life. Blah, 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 blah. I like gave them my own opinion. I was like, I'm fine with starting them. It's not going to kick in until about three months anyway because I was on such a low dose. And I, it's, a, it's a lot different. It's a lot different than I expected. What I mean by that is people are a lot more supportive than I expected. Like you have a few people here and there that are like, oh my God, I can't believe like, like she's transitioning. But like, you can, I don't really care. <laughs> like I said, I finished in like 10 days. So I don't know, it doesn't really affect me. Um, my friends have been like super sweet and like super, super nice. Like even just like people in my year, like I'll be talking to a teacher and they'll just kind of like, it'll be people that I don't talk to often and they'll just turn around and be like, whoa. Jack, your voice is really dropping and it's nice like it's really nice to see and like people have been like pointing out my little sideburns that are like starting to come in and little like hairs around here and they're like oh it's so cool that this, like all of this is actually changed for you like one of my teachers is like so hyped up about my transition it's not even funny like she's so so sweet and we i was just talking to her the other day and she just stopped me and just went hmm. she's just getting so deep i'm so proud and i was just like oh she's just so sweet like what but yeah, I didn't expect it. Like, obviously my experience is gonna be different to a lot of people's. Um, I have super supportive teachers. I have super supportive friends. Um, see, some people won't have that in different schools. Like I'm called Jackson in school. Um, I like don't wear the female uniform. I'm the only person out of like 600 students. Oh, my light. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm the only student out of like 600 students that wears trousers in school. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty unique, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> One thing that I kind of expected was it raised my dysphoria a lot, like going into school and being surrounded by girls and just hearing my voice dropping, it's great, but like when I'm trying to talk to girls and they just like, you know, they're like having girl talk and they're all screaming and laughing and talking about these things that I just wouldn't talk about and just wearing the skirts and like, you know, just being around girls kind of makes me very dysphoric, especially when I'm transitioning. Um, but like I said, I've only 10 days left. So that's why I was fine with starting tea right before the end of school. Um, I'm kind of happy I didn't start any earlier. As much as I was like, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, give me on now. Um, I'm kind of happy it was a smarter move to start later in the year. Because like I said, I can like happily go into college now, stealth if I want to. 
um, because I'll be about six months on tea or like if I need to, you know, just kind of be free this summer, I can because I'm on testosterone and I can be more comfortable this summer. And just like a lot of things that I didn't expect. So, you know, it's, it's, it's good, it's cool. I don't really know what else to say about this topic. Like I have super supportive friends, super supportive teachers, like even the lunch ladies are like pointing out my voice getting deeper. Like everybody in the school is so nice to me. They're so sweet. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's been a really good experience for me. Um, like I said, it's my own experience. I can't tell you that if you're in an all girls school and you start tea that like teachers won't ask questions, students won't ask questions. Like I'm an open book. So if somebody wants me to ask me a question, I'm fine with it. Um, but it might be different for you. So I just want to point out that everybody's experience is different. So I was just lucky enough to have this fortunate experience in school. So yeah, I'm just, that's all I really have to say about that. Like people are super supportive and it's great. And my family are, and it's, it's just lovely, it's lovely. So yeah, that's the end of this video, Um, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, some people wanted me to do this video. I'm sorry if it wasn't very informative. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit and that talk about how my experience is good because I think people are thinking I'm having a bad experience in school. But like, as, although I'm dysphoric, like I said, people are super supportive. I don't know how many times I've said support in this video, but like they are, so it's, it's, it's good for me. So yeah, if you have any videos you want me to do in the future, make sure you comment down below. If you want to see more of my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do subscribe because that would really help me out. And leave a like so I know you like these kinds of videos. Yeet. <laughs> and yeah, as usual, I hope you had, have, or are having an amazing day. And I will see you in the next video. Quoting Alan, be kind to one another. And I'll see you. Peace.